Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock. This one is from Bricklink.com. Okay. So let's get into this. Oh. That must be stickers. Wow, it's another lots and lots of little bags order right where to start should we start with the stickers are these open oh, there they are. right didn't need a knife so we've got a few sticker sheets this one's very bright ah yes i remember this i wanted this for the blueprints just so if i had some sort of sciencey buildings there's a blueprint for a Mac and some sort of, I don't know what that would be, some sort of device and some sort of flying craft. And I thought in my space center or something like that, they might be working on these blueprints, either on a screen or pen and paper. So I thought that'd be really good. It might be as well that I can use these two pieces joined together uh, to make a interesting sign. I like that with a crab on and all the rest of these stripes so some of these will probably go to good use as well so that's a good start yeah I've been looking at this one for a while and I don't really like it but nonetheless it was very cheap here so I've got an open sign and a computer game screen the rest of them I don't think I'm going to be able to use um, and there's a joystick there but you can make a 3d joystick quite easily with a modified tile and just a one by one so yeah, not too bad. Ah, and three of these. So the thinking behind this was that these are on a dark bluish gray background and a yellow sort of damaged lines. And I thought, well, surely these could be used to mark out parking bays on normal road plates because, well, it's the right color background um, and they were very cheap. So I got all he had, which was three. Uh, so, look forward to experimenting with those. Wow, now I'm going to have to take all these out of the bags. It's easy to show you them without the bags, but here we go. So we've got some legs for use on the beach. Nice light pink, or maybe they're somebody without any trousers on, with pink knickers on. And I've got, ah yes, this is a dock oc torso and those are the sort of connectors for his tentacles uh, so a spider-man buddy here are the legs look now i don't usually collect all the sort of marvel minifigures and so on mainly because they haven't got yellow skin they've got the skin tones which i don't want in my city i want everyone to have yellow skin but this is an exception it's from uh, an old Junior's set and as you can see he's got yellow skin at the neck and on his hands so if I find an appropriate head for him I've already got the bowl haircut that he usually has so that'll work really well so here is a sons of something or the biker from Ninjago don't know much about that but I do like his torso and I really, really, really like his angry bearded face, which is angry on both sides. Yeah, I like that a lot. So if I'm going to have a biker gang, which I intend to, probably take those goggles off, but nonetheless, he is a good person to have in it. Nice black hairpiece with a braid. Oh, I don't know why I bought this. I could have bought this for ages, for years, and never did because I never thought how I could use it. But I bought it here because I think it was about a pound. And I figure that the head's quite good, sort of scared head. And maybe I could use the body, I don't know. And I thought maybe I could experiment with this as an actual plant, plant life. So I'm really not sure about that. And I'm not sure even more having seen it, but 
it was pretty cheap and I didn't have it, so there you go. Trousers, stripy pirate trousers. I was thinking I could use these on the beach again as some funky swim shorts, so they look pretty good. A brick for a cliffs, no doubt, or a lot of these dark bluish grey bricks are for bits of cliff faces and because I'm going to have to have a lot of cliffs around my two rail bridges because they'll be linking two raised areas with each other with C at a lower level underneath. So obviously we need the two cliff faces for the vertical edges and it's good to get loads of different shaped bricks to give it a lot of different textures. Another good hairstyle, it's probably quite cheap. Ah, so I've got a, quite a few of these. These are modified bricks and they've just got the um, studs on the side. And they're useful, these ones, because obviously you can put something too broad over it because it works that way with the geometry as well. Um, now, the fact that these are dark pink made them very cheap. Now, when something's on the front of these, uh, you won't be able to see that they're dark pink, so they're still useful. But um, yeah, pretty ghastly colour. Now we've got the graduate minifigure. Looks very happy in his mortarboard and clean that up a bit. But he looks in good shape. Yep. Now I've already got the graduate, but I figured if I was going to have a graduation ceremony or something like that at my university when I get round to doing that, then I'm going to need more than one student, aren't I? So he's very good. Not entirely sure where I got this guy either. I mean, I don't have him and he's got a fantastic helmet. Uh, so it's a gladiator, uh, as you can tell. He's got a really good face and he's in good condition. Yep. But I don't know how on earth I'm going to use him. Now I do have a later Roman gladiator type guy. Uh, he might be a barbarian, I forget. But um. I did have the idea that two of these could be having a, a battle uh, in some, I don't know, room somewhere, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. But just for the helmet alone, this is probably worth what I paid for it. So that's great. One slope. A couple more slopes with stickers on. I think I bought those. To be the same as that one, I'll just pull off the stickers, don't need them. Crosswalk sign, need a few of those. There's a lot of crosswalks on Lego road plates, so I need a lot of signs to advertise them. Ah, and a nice bus stop sign. Need one of those for each of my bus stops, so I think I've got enough now. Ah, now this is something I was always missing, so this is a good part of the order. When I got my weightlifter minifigure, I got one for a good price, but he didn't have a set of dumbbells to lift and they're quite hard to come by. So I finally found a pair for a decent price and got those. So that'll make him complete. Some more dark gray shaped pieces. These are those slopes with a sort of plate as well. So I'll be for my cliffs. More bits for my cliffs. Got a couple of those, well, one textured wedge brick and a different shape there. All useful. Can't remember what that's for. Modified plate, some more modified plates. These are probably for lamp posts. So you can obviously angle these for street lights so there's a few of those. Indeed, there's one of these street light poles. A ladder piece, I use those in my underground stations. Some parts of hinge bricks, they're always useful. Oh, that's an empty bag. So I won't get all these out, or will I? I'll get them out. Some 
one by one bricks. So they're always useful. The clear ones are good for shop displays, holding up things like clothing and so on. These bright neon yellowy green ones I'm going to use for drinks cans as I am the red ones. That's them. Ooh, I won't open this one. A whole load of two by two gray jumpers. So I'm using these on my pavements or sidewalks in order to support minifigures and fire hydrants and all the sorts of street furniture that go in a regular street. So I'll need a lot of those in the whole city. Got a minifigure face, sad, scared. As I always say, I always look out for female minifigure faces because I don't have enough women compared with men in Lego cities, it seems. Well, there's a good male face though. Sort of missing a tooth and looking a bit happy, but in a sort of evil way. Oh, and then he's scared on the other side. Oh, that would be really good for some um, sort of scene that I can set up. I can use both of those quite easily. Uh, I've got some one by one by three bricks. I think they're for my modular. One I'm starting from scratch and uh, to my completely own design. A couple of red frames. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure what those were for at the moment. One yellow plate. Four tan two by two round plates. Some black, what is that, 12? 12 long bricks. That would be no doubt for my railway station, my main station. It's amazing how many black bricks you need just to raise all of your platforms up by two brick height. It might be three brick height, but nonetheless. Mazur one by two. Now these were from friends' trolleys, as in um, shopping carts. Uh, and they're sort of reflective with a sort of grill piece on the end. I thought I might be able to use them uh, as part of my mobility scooters or rascals as some people call them. Um, so that was an idea for them, but I'm sure I'll think of a use for two of those. I'll need to move those stickers using my patented hot tea technique. But that's no problem. Ooh, and one grey one by two. A criminal's jacket that I didn't have, so it's a criminal shirt but with a nice sort of hoodie on top. Oh, nice on the back as well. A lot of people think there are too many of these uh, criminals uh, about, but I quite like all the baddies that LEGO produces, so I'll just have this guy working on my fairground, probably. Ooh. Nearly escaped, one more head. This one is heavy eyebrows, stern face. That will make another good diorama or scene. Right, we've got a good bag here. Lots of sticker pieces. So first one, two by four tile, Heart Lake News. Now I'm gonna use this as the sign for a newspaper shop. It will need moving again using my hot tea technique. It's a bit damaged actually, and this is why I got three of them, because I need two. So that one's quite damaged, it might be repairable, but that one's good. That one's good quality. And the third one, it's hanging off, but I can fix that. I think that's good quality as well. So as long as I get two out of those three, I'm happy. It's a pretty awful colour scheme, but nonetheless, I'll, I'll stick with it. Uh, then we've got TV with two windsurfers on. I know they're mini dolls outlines, but nonetheless, I can use that in a TV store or just anywhere that's got a TV on. So that's always good. City pizza box. Can never have too many of those. This is a desk. Obviously in a vet's office, it would look like originally. 
couple of notes and a what's that file effects sort of phone book sort of thing and then I've got four of these round ones with sort of marks on in lime green now they could be for bushes or all sorts of things I just hadn't seen them before that I think they're from an elves set so anyway I've got four of those so I can play around with those with shrubs or something else and see what they do and I've got this is an inverted tile actually but it goes on a brick and becomes a package so that's good give that to a postman or something like that and then it looks like we've got a couple of mobile phones one's Batman themed or Batgirl themed that a normal person can still have it and this one's super man or super girl themed so we can have all the young people of Brick Nottingham walking around staring into their phones another torso nice sort of argyle jumper and bow tie I think I've already got this because I think it's from the computer programmer but it's the sort of torso you can definitely use twice in a city huh. one of those on its own nice basket piece I think I was missing this from the uh, minifigure grandma so that's good to have and a skateboard with another interesting pattern on now that's another sticker that will need moving using my patented hot tea technique <coughs> at least it's not damaged so that should be fine purple wheels as well I've got quite a collection of skateboards now so I'm planning a skateboard park actually uh, I know that's an idea that's been done before but um, I quite fancy a go at that as well for the torso this one's purple yeah looks good for the female torso and a nice door with a good sticker on this sticker is from a bakery by the looks of things there's a bagel on the top there with a opening and closing time my idea for this was actually to add it to my assembly square bakery uh, in, to replace the one that's already there so yeah good grey 2x2 two two tiles won't get them out a couple of pink limb tree limb pieces probably from an elf set as well but I'll probably use these as coral for underwater some more brown 2x4s I'm always on the lookout for cheap ones of this because I use them as part of my railway ballast check out my method that I use to make that it's the second video I did so it'll be way back now it's pretty good I think some yellow one by one modified bricks with stud on the side always useful can't remember the exact purpose one by two trans yellow plates they'll be part of the street lights and one warm gold pneumatic tea piece which I know is for my set of scales that I'm trying to make for a statue to hold as in the scales of justice old-fashioned weighing scales um, and that'll be the sort of cross piece of that because I want that statue to be like justice uh, you know when you have a statue of justice um, holding a sword and a set of scales and that might be on the top of a courthouse but that's so far off I'm not even thinking about it too much white cupboard white fence piece must have been quite cheap nice shower sign that will need moving as well and then last but not least some one by one bricks or oh, they'll be for my uh, cliffs as well with this nice sand green looks a bit sort of like sea life and dark bluish gray so great that's a really good haul <coughs> Well, as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And next time on Robin Hood Bricks, we'll be getting back to the city updates in Brick Nottingham. See you next time.